Israel. Move on now. Move on and leave Chile, Chile alone now. Is she the only woman in the world? Or is she the only woman in Nigeria? Why are you going back and forth with her every time? Embarrassing her on social media. Move on. Behave like a man. Okay. Okay. So when they talk say men, no get emotions, Abby. Okay. So men, men don't have feelings. Blood know they run for their veins. Eh. Ah. Uh, see, in this Israel and Sheila's uh, case, what I see here is a man that loves a woman. That is what I see. Yeah. It's easy for women to come out and talk. And we are going to have pity on them. My gender, no vest. Just hear me out. But once men speak, once they try to express how they feel, the society tends to call them weak. Like, you're a weak man. Why are you doing this? Why? It's not true. Men also have feelings and emotions. Since this case uh, between uh, Israel and Sheila, Israel has been the one speaking. Sheila, anyway, has been the one doing the ignoring. She's living her life with her bestie in Abuja. But from everything Israel has been right, you see a man. You see a man that was hurt. You see a man that, that is feeling pains. You also see a man that had love for the wife. It's unfortunate that Sheila doesn't love Israel. That is the truth. We have to say the truth. She doesn't love him and she does not feel anything for him. That is why it's easier for her to just move out. It's easier for her not to even turn back. You saw this is where Israel they rant on social media. If Sheila should come back tomorrow, Israel will accept me. From the look of things, the guy is <laughs> the guy is just hot. He's just trying to express how he's feeling. Israel will accept her back and I do apology. So this is where they talk. Hire single do apology to she and the family. But on the other hand, on the girl's side, she's not ready. You know, she does not want she's like a person that they just um they just loosened from a uh, prison and the person became so free, like very, very free. But all those things you are doing, influencing, we can still do it in marriage. You know, be in social media we do, we see the husband has. We can still do influencing. You can still do all those things in marriage. Hence your husband has the understanding. And I believe Israel will have the understanding because he's a social media person. Israel is a social media person, so he, it wouldn't be difficult. So I see someone that doesn't love, he don't even care. Wait to even quarrel them for the marriage. So now, till we don't even make sense. Two of them, we are just learning each other. They never learned each other. They don't even know each other. They just got married. So what do you expect from people that didn't learn or didn't live with each other? They will have problems. Those problems they will have when they got married earlier will be learning. Had it been they calmed down, or had it been Sheila just calmed down, she would have just learned the guy. She would have just learned him. Hence, there was no domestic violence. According to Israel, he is still saying to tomorrow, I did not beat her. I did not beat her. Ask her whether I beat her. Israel did not beat you. I know he's behaving, according to you, maybe she, he behaves so timidly. That is the way he is. Maybe no go school. Not everybody go go school. The only thing is they try to teach him small, small. And you have patience. Don't be the one where you go talk tomorrow today if you know do. Tomorrow you go begin verse. After all, the two of you came from the same uh, Edo state. You, you go not know the way on Edo men they be, behave. So you needed to calm down. You never reached to come off for house. That the one that they're not learning each other. You are just learning each other in that first one year. In that first what marriage don't even reach one year. You don't pack a bag. So what I see here in Israel, I will tell you the truth. It's a man that is hot. He's a human being. I think he's the one that loves more. That is why he's, um, he's expressing his feelings. If he does not want the lady, or maybe if he has been looking for a way for this marriage to crash, he would have moved on immediately. If I don't even talk her, he would have moved on immediately. I saw the video he did with Danny Freeze. He was even talking about it. I know he's not following the girl, but maybe he's following the girl with a fake account. He said, I know the numbers of followers you have. 3,000 when we met. Now you had 100 and I think 150. I thought 100. He called the exact amount of followers the girl has. Don't you know they follow the girl? That means if they, if they always check up on the girl. They check up on whatever thing the girl is doing. If he does not love the girl or he does not have atom of likeness for the girl, he wouldn't have been bothering himself. 
Some people are saying that uh, Sheila does a stray bullet. He does a stray bullet. I don't think so. I don't think that every man, a man that likes you, wouldn't want you to just go like that. He wouldn't want you to just go like that. Forget everything. Even these men that love us, we are staying with. They might do worse if you leave them. If you leave a man that loves you, he might do worse. All this is when they do is throwing a tantrum. Whether Sheila go come back. You go see that Sheila decide to come back. Is he go agree? Because if Israel don't like the girl, he would have moved on a long time ago. Not be divorced, so would they or celebrity uh, divorce when they see on social media. You see that they give themselves headache. Nobody even talk about each other. But Israel keeps talking about this girl. He love her more. So for me, I don't see um I don't see uh, see it as weakness. I see it as he's expressing his feel, uh, his emotions. Someone is telling him to move on. He will move on, but you cannot move on when your heart is still filled. All this is when they do is pouring his mind, trying to throw everything away. I think what he, once he's done, and maybe the girl no agree come back, he will move on. But for now, moving on, you can't move on. You can't move on with things packed in your heart. You move on when your mind is clear. Someone on the girl's comment section told the girl, return the bride price now so that you stop embarrassing you. And the girl commented that the bride price has been returned. Only for Israel to say that the girl, which bride price is that how to re uh, return bride price. You do transfer, you transferred 1,000 naira to me and you told me it's bride price. Oh, mother, that's so disrespectful. Like how? Bride price, where you go carry your family. The way they take your, your husband people take come pay them. That's so you go carry your family, go return them. No, wait till you go do transfer. What, what, like how? I don't understand. Israel said he spent up to two million. Okay, because of that small one, where you know, say when they want to pay the bride price, when the groom bring uh, the plenty money, like when they want to marry me, my husband they, they brought uh, plenty money. My, my father just took uh, small money inside. I don't know whether it's 500 or 100 naira. Then like 100 naira, when my father take. Okay, now that 100 naira, now you call the bride, we don't try. What of the drink where you carry come? <laughs> what of every other thing where you carry come? You just say he spent up to two million, but it's so disrespectful. Even though he's at two million naira, you're not supposed to send this via transfer. Traditionally, you, you, you pay the thing traditionally. You have to return the thing traditionally. So that's so disrespectful. You don't return your bride price via transfer. <laughs> it is the apple though. That's my take on Israel on, and Shayla's issue.